Hey there, my dear viewers, so what's new in the whole universe? I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and today we're gonna talk about the originality of creation. And I have two statements today. Originality exists or originality doesn't exist, but it was existing before, previously, super previously. Right now we have it, but it is a more complex way and something like this, okay? And uh, before we we dive into it, I want to show you my previous work that I made yesterday. Let's take a look at them. I was doing them... Oh, one moment, need to dive into... Also, one moment, I was doing one more thing. It is here, yes, it will be here. So, I have something to show to you. It is first... I was doing today a little bit of drawings, paintings. It is not really nice. It is not really nice as I, w I was showing to you yesterday. Yesterday I was showing to you really amazing and nice, coolest stuff that uh, you can only see on internet. <laughs> I mean that I was showing to you something cool that I was uh, drawing on a paper. It is what I show you now, what I'm showing to you now. It is something that I was creating by this uh, pencil or a pen and uh, with my tablet, that graphic tablet and, uh, and uh, I'm not really nice at graphic design in the meaning of digital. It is kind of not super comfortable to me because I, I really like feeling of a paper. And it is what I've made. It is the spirit. Spirit that we have. Look at this. He is moving. Also this type of spirit. This time old spirit. Also a little bit of banshee or something. Spirit is transforming into something really crazy and creepy stuff. Or something like horror-like. But it is not a horror of I want to kill you. It is horror of uh, kind of funny. Funny, really. A funny horror. And... Uh, really a spooky time but uh, he's a good good person i think so and one more spooky thing and one more this uh, picture of uh, maybe it is a spider look so several items of our hands one more arm and also legs we have this and also spirit that uh, that wants to dive into this person like he wants to inject inside of this uh, person his spirit of banshee and uh, this uh, uh, this spider will become a spiritus spider okay and one more thing i was drawing i don't know what is it i th i think it is a kind of a tree maybe maybe a tree maybe not maybe it is a character i didn't name this but I named yesterday stuff, by the way. I was showing to you yesterday. And this crazy girl, I named her Kira. Kira, really nice name for her. And I love this character. And this character that I was drawing, I was drawing from this, from this spider. I created this dude. And then I made a little bit of cupola. Or maybe it is the blocking, blocking sphere. And uh, it is good, I think. And uh, it was a little bit of I improvisation. It was unprepared stuff. I was drawing, painting, and uh, really it went this way. I didn't plan to, like, to do good stuff. I was uh, doing sketching. It is not like a commercial successful work. I understand that, guys. Please don't uh, say to me that, oh, what the hell, even children can draw this way. I understand that, guys. But I was creating it all fully from my head and I was trying to do kind of improvisation on a tablet to make my skills uh, to build a kind of confidence in drawing on a tablet, but I don't like it. I, I don't want to say that I don't like it. I don't prefer it really I prefer really on a paper because of maybe eyesight I like to watch at something natural without so a lot of light maybe need to buy something like ink tablets and uh, they are so hugely expensive in a way of expensiveness in a society norms like it will cost uh, maybe three thousand dollars maybe something like this it is uh, 
Huge cost for people who has not so big amount of salary, but in the mini of a world, it is not a big sell. It is not a, an expensive item. It is uh, if we will talk about that we are milliardaires, then it is not expensive thing. It is kind of daily, daily investments in uh, in art. So. I showed you this, it is cupola and uh, amazing looking, I think that's uh, nice, really, like concept. And then I, <laughs> yesterday, it is yesterday's work, I drew Oleg, he's a blacksmith worker, nice, and I was drawing it for 20 minutes, even less than this one. I was doing it fast and uh, I drew this person, nice, amazing and uh, good looking by the way. And also I drew this. And now my talk is started. One moment guys. Do you remember? I was talking about originality. And I thought previously, I want to make, I want to say to you that I was, one moment it is kind of uh, I was googling how to write a, a funny, a funny horse, <laughs> like a dark humor horse, and uh, I was uh, thinking that I can create something super mega original in a way of illustrations. Previously, I thought about it uh, in music way, like uh, we can create original music; it is really easy. But in the paintings, the same. In writing, the same. In uh, in any field of our life, is the same. You cannot find right now originality fully in the meaning of uh, not uh, taking something from somewhere else. You can't find it fully, or maybe you can. I think that you can. Yes, I believe in kind of positive things, but uh, look, I was drawing this. It is Gora Leap. Gora Leap that I created as a creature from the world of Arvolk, from my universe, from my book that I was creating. I, I hope that it is showing. Yes, showing. And it is a Gora Leap. It is the creature like a dinosaurus. I was doing it this way. And then. Today, I was watching one video from Asman Gold, he's a creator from World Warcraft, he's a streamer, Twitch streamer, like, uh, degeneration content, okay? <laughs> Idiocracy, idiotocracy, okay? You, you don't need to watch this, if you want to entertain yourself, okay, watch it, if uh, you want something educational stuff, don't watch it. Or, if you are super aware and you can pick any ideas even from idiotic uh, things, then you can watch Tasman Gold for you. And uh, I was watching one video and he showed the mount from mount, like the vehicle from the World of Warcraft and he looked like this way that I was drawing. Only, on, only the tail was different from him, but another part almost the same. And uh, I want to say that uh, my originality of this work maybe only 10, maybe 5%. It means that it is not super fully original. My kind of thought about life previously, th I previously I thought in a way that maybe we have something super original in our life, that we can create fully original. But all the stories, they are, yes, they are original, but in some moments only, they are kind of different, that's all. If you can see the big picture of the things, like how they work, it is, uh, there are not super mega original things. You always can compare with something, you always can say that I've seen it already. And about originality, I want to say that originality, it is what we see as original. Not like what we we know that yes it is original. What we see, the beautiful the beautifulness in our eyes, it is our perspective. If, if you want to find beautiful things, we will find it. If you want to find negative in this world, you will find it. If you want to find positive things in our world, you will find it. If you want to find original things, you will find it and you will name it original. It doesn't mean that it is kind of delusion thing and uh, something like this you create for yourself illusion and you live inside of them. It means that you uh, you create kind of 
Perspective. You look to this uh, through positive perspective or from original perspective. And uh, sometimes you can think, yes, it is really original kind of. Uh, but uh, another way you will find something that looks like this way and you will say, no, it's not original. And Or you can play inside of yourself game like, yes, it is original. And, like you are an actor and you are playing the game of the, yes, original, everything is original fully and yes, we know. In total, in total, like, in total picture, if you will look at our world, a world, everything is super original. Everything. Absolutely everything. Absolutely everything is original. If we will look at this. Uh, because we are, look at us, look at me, look at yourself in the mirror, or look at your siblings or friends. They are fully original. Yes, they have kind of shapes uh, different from others. Yes, they have kind of uh, the sameness with sound. Oh, Jesus Christ, 94% of similarities in, uh, in their faces and their body structures. Yes, they have, but in total they are fully unique because they have DNA unique, they have unique storyline of their living, they have unique experiences in their life, and even if they create something F for in their life unique, then it means unique, like in a meaning of uniqueness, and uh, yes, it is original things, yes, uh, we can always say that it's uh, original or unique, it is kind of playing with words, you can say, but in the same time, you can say that everything that in our life is unique, and even copy of something is unique too, because uh, when, you do a, uh, when you do copy, then you put inside of it your T your structure, your tension, your uh, tension in a kind of uh, when you pick your pencil uh, and you draw your kind of your how to say it when you do kind of I forgot press pressing on a on a paper when you do drawing calligraphy and things of this nature and your your how to say, signature it is your uniqueness thing and uh, we can think only about uh, like historical correctness maybe in this or historical uniqueness historical uniqueness it is when you was creating by your own and then it you looked at somebody else's works and you said that uh, i i don't know how to describe it i mean that i don't know you can always say that something is original, something is not original. Always. It is the question of perspective. You can say, yes, it is not original. And you will be, like, uh, staying for this and you will be kind of uh, always uh, maybe angry. Somebody will not be angry because they can say it in a funny way, really. <laughs> it's not original. <laughs> and something like this. They can play this kind of uh, funny game with this person. If this person who is who was said that his works are not original, he will think in a funny way, yes, it's not original, that they have fun together, and uh, it means good. If this person is showing that it's not original, and this person is crying, and he doesn't have fun of crying, then it means that this person does did not really nice work by saying that it is not original. Jesus Christ, do you understand me or not? So I think that yes, if you will re-listen, you will understand because the super logical way of me speaking these things. And so nothing is original and everything is original, guys. Because I said it already. Because you can always say that yes, it is original. But uh, uh, you can kind of evident that everything is original. Because it was made by original person. Yes, people are Everybody is unique. Fully. I think so. I hope so. I'm not a scientist, like I checked every person in a way of DNA, but I think that everybody is unique. And their experiences show... Their experiences show that they are unique. If they are more than one year old, then they are already original, because they have super mega unique experiences. Even if they live in the same places that another children, and even uh, because they have different parents, different parents, different uniqueness of shapes of bodies, and different understanding of them, and communication with them, also, also different experiences. Yes, fully different experiences. Even date of birth, uh, like they were born uh, two minutes after, and it means 
different experiences. They were their parents have was having a, we were having a sex before and uh, they had a sex maybe previously in a way of uh, two days before one more uh, parents and it means uniqueness too and uh, uniqueness of sperm too is the the same thing and uh, the gamete of uh, woman too. Everything is original and everything is not because. As I said to you before, I will show you right now. I looked if if in a mini of society it is not original, guys. I will I, I I want to say it to you. But in my mini of originality, I was drawing drawing it fully by my own, fully by my own. I didn't look at anything, really. I didn't look at any any picture. I was drawing it by myself, really. I was drawing it by myself, fro fully from my head, fully like I was drawing and making Gora lips. My characters, maybe from dinosaurs, I I took some parts of it, like dinosaurs. I remember them. I took from them and I drew this person. Okay, but from a current world of current licity, I didn't pick any any ideas. I picked only from like previous experience. Yes, maybe from current experience I took kind of subconsciously because I didn't think about these th things. But I drew this by my own fully. Like I will show you one moment again. I drew this by my own. This Gora leap. Then I opened World of Warcraft. I mean that I watched Asman Gold and uh, mounts of. One moment. I will show you right now. One moment, gambling, gambling, Asmon Gold. You you will see right now. Really, one moment, gambling, five million. I will show you. It is not like a stuff that you need to see, but uh, I think this one. I I don't think that you you should watch it fully and something like this. But I will show you. Really, it is today. Really, I watched it. And uh, one moment I will show you. It is opening. Look! Look at this thing. Really, like Gora Leap. If you look, really, like my thing. Only face is different. This face is more like of the snake I, I was creating. I created it yesterday. Yesterday. And this gambling game I watched today. And uh, the, the tail is different from them. But fully almost the same, and it is like, it is what I wanted to create, I wanted to create, guys, really, I wanted to create this, I wanted to make my Gora lips fully original, and they are not fully original, I have a little bit of water in my eyes right now, because really, I, I have, I have a little bit, not fully, but uh, kind of a bit. I wanted to make my things fully original, but they are already exist in our world, and it is kind of... I don't know, guys, and uh, sorry for this mess, it's, it's okay, I will I will clean it after the, after the recording video, but uh, I wanted to make it fully original, and it is not original fully as I wanted, and also I want to show you one more thing that I was drawing today, Yes, it it will be a funny thing. You maybe will laugh a bit. One moment, I will open. It's not really nice thing that I will show you, but it's okay. Look, <laughs> it's funny, funny picture. Really, really, really funny. It is uh, not again. If you are somebody, I guys. What's the difference between me and maybe with someone show off in person that uh, I know the rules how to make it kind of uh, anatomically correct, not fully. I'm not like a super master of anatomical things and I know every part of deltoids and uh, tri triceps, biceps and uh, different types of blades in our body. But I know kind of uh, proportions, how they look really like original people. I was working as... Uh, as photographer and videographer almost for four years and I was learning it through these uh, places and also after that I was learning through googling and also reading uh, some some books of architecture too and uh, how people look and anatomical things I was reading about it uh, not every piece of things but I was reading and I want to say that it is what I have drawn it is not super anatomical thing it is not real guys uh, let's consider it's it is as surreal okay guys and uh, 
it is uh, something funny. Really, if you will kind of clo turn your turn your judgment off, like t judgment of ah, oh, it's not real. Ah, oh, it's not like the where the where do they stand? Where is the place where they can say a stand and uh, something like this? They're in a. <laughs> They're in the space, okay? Space or maybe in a void. And these three characters, the... I don't know, who is he? It is the... I don't, I don't know what's name of it. It is when you eat something, like uh, in your... Pon... Palatry... No. Uh, you remember, from Hobbit. From the Hobbit... Uh, pantry. Pantry. It is the place when people can... Uh, can storage food and it is the storage food maybe it is uh, like tomatoes or maybe it is storage in a tin tin it is a tin guys tin plus the the goblet goblet thing or maybe i don't know character with a smile and one more dude like from minecraft i didn't play w i have not played work uh, minecraft for a long period of time i played it only for a purpose of creating video on my russian account uh, like to know what's uh, current uh, children are interested in because uh, we live in the society and uh, you if you are not like a super old oh jesus this this crazy children playing this games uh, jesus uh, delete all the games of this let's live in a in a, some stone age lives and uh, if you are this type of person you maybe don't uh, understand my talk but uh, i want to be in a mini of world and i want to know what's uh, chi what children are uh, interested in current children and uh, if you are maybe right now feeling kind of uh, jesus christ uh, yes i'm this type of person that says to children okay have fun at least <laughs> if you say this uh, things and uh, children will have fun too and <laughs> have fun okay uh, i'm sorry if uh, something i hurt your feelings or something but uh, I was uh, drawing kind of Minecraft or something. It is a dude not from Minecraft, but inspired. He has... Uh, look, it is not super nice shape. It is a little bit of uh, not correct shapes of super nice cube. It's not a super nice cube, but you can see a little bit of 3Ds here, but not fully. It is kind of connection here. We have also this body. It is... Uh, in, in different dimensions they are locating and I want to say maybe maybe I'm super creative and I can see art even in this uh, piece of art <laughs> piece of art you can say a, a different word piece of s h i t in uh, <laughs> in this piece of art you can see uh, somebody can say what the hell is that but I can see really huge art inside of it Maybe I'm super artistic person who can find really everything is, uh, is interesting. Maybe I don't have a taste, and uh, maybe don't have it. Don't have not having a, ta a taste is a good thing. Maybe in our life, like uh, if you don't have a taste, it means that uh, everything is funny for you. If you have fun, okay, y you are. Uh, if you have fun, you are open to how to not have a, a taste. I mean that uh, it's okay to not have a taste if you if you are really like a person who likes everything i like everything sometimes it is different but this type of art i really can explain it is good if you again it is always the way of perspective if you know that uh, if you if you think that life is positive and uh, if your bottle or glass is filled with water like more than look it is only three drops but it is for me it is full of water like if you are positive thinking the if you positive th if you think positive then uh, you can find anywhere like positive and funny things i found it really interesting this drawing not like super interesting and uh, more interesting was uh, with uh, kira Kira is amazing. But this one is good. I like this dude. Look. Look at this picture. He's amazing. He's really nice. And <laughs> I don't know. It's something good. I want to use this dude 
for my another things, for my another stories. I like him. He's really good. Look at him. It is something character. Or I feel it. Or you can feel it. He's not really like a maybe a super nice and amazing person in the meaning of uh, personality and his uh, his qualities or something like this. But he's funny. He looks like my uh, my co-worker I worked with. My co-worker, his name is Vlad, and he was looking the same way, he was, he was funny, hilarious, but sometimes he was kind of, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the, hell? <laughs> what the hell, you know, the type of people who are always kind of uh, saying maybe, ah, Jesus, I am so angry to this life or something, and they are kind of angry, but uh, to look at them, it is uh, really fun, to sometimes to them, like, they are angry or something, they they can make, uh, in Russia, we, we have a proverb, proverb, сделать из мухи слона. It means uh, make from a small, uh, small tiny insect huge elephant. Like from a small problem, you can like make it uh, super like this disaster and catastrophe, the end of the life and uh, something like this. They can do this. And this dude looks really this way. Really, like, he's kind of funny. This dude is don't understand anything. He is kind of, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on here? And this dude is kind of funny. Okay, guys, okay, I accept everything. It's kind of funny. And I think that I know where I was inspiring this uh, thing thing from. I remember my mom my mom gifted to me one book, really amazing book. It It is a book from... Uh, like, I don't remember the name of this book, but uh, book was good. <laughs> and uh, maybe it is only one book that I was reading with a little bit of uh, wanting to read. It was with pictures, illustrations. My mom gifted to me. I, I didn't like to read books in my childhood, really. I was, I was good at, like, rewriting books. I liked to rewrite books. When I pick my notebook or student book and I write uh, a book like <laughs> plagiarism, maybe it is the way how I improved my writing skills, by the way, it is a good thing. And uh, I was kind of, not it was my desire to do this, it was uh, kind of my my father said to me, or maybe grandfather, uh, or like uh, father line said to me that uh, Igor, you need to do these things and uh, you, it is a nice thing maybe. I don't know, they didn't explain to me or explained, but I didn't listen to that to them. But I understand that thank you to them for this. Uh, yes, uh, and it's good. And uh, about this uh, things, uh, okay, I was uh, doing rewriting books in my childhood, and uh, this book I was reading that mom gifted to me, it was uh, amazing. I, I even read it a little bit. I didn't like to read books in my childhood, but uh, this book I was nice. It was from a Russian author, I think so. It's about something fantasy. Fantasy in real life. Like, I imagine to the nowadays, and some people like with, uh, I imagine, like, I don't know, Bluebeard? Bluebeard, you remember? Beard. Bluebeard, but he's with a um, green, grassy. Grassy man! Grassy man, also man with uh, foot, with his foot, so big feet, feet, bi big feet, man, big foot, big feet, and also one more thing, and Mufta uh, Polbatinka i Mahavaya Barada. It is the name from Russian, Russian language. It it is. Uh, I will show you right now. I can Google, and you will see picture Mufta. One moment, move to Paul Batinka and Mahavaya Barada. Three? Ah, you maybe have it. It is a popular Estonian copy-sitele Eno Rauda. It is Estonian, Estonian book. Look, I will show you. One moment. It is what my, my mom gifted, not this one. But uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want to find uh, the picture that I was having on my book. Oh, I had something, another, I had another picture, like this way, look, one dude with, uh, with, 
uh, with a beard, green beard, yes, and uh, beard and a rout. One moment, I, I will translate it even. We we'll, we can look at uh, we Wikipedia. Ah, oh, we don't have English, English ver version. It is Naxitralit and a rout. This book. And uh, I was reading it, it was good, a bit, not fully, again. And uh, pictures were amazing inside of it. And uh, where is the version I was reading? I want to find exactly what I was having on, I think this one. Maybe, maybe not, not, not. Okay, okay guys, I, I was having, yes, maybe this one type. And it was good. It was really amazing. Guys, if you have an opportunity to read maybe, or maybe to see pictures, you can look at them. And uh, maybe you will have something. And uh, I think this drawing it is kind of this type of things. But I imagine that it will be about the... About what? About the characters that are alive in our life. I mean that maybe furniture that it is alive. It is tr a trope, for ex uh, by the way. Trope it is something that is already somewhere in our life. But maybe I'm super smart. My IQ kind of 300. I think that m I was good. I was doing testing. My uh, IQ is 141. I don't know. Is it a parameter that you can say that I'm smart or not? But maybe it is. And uh, I maybe I am super smart, but I can't find uh, find in any trope like uh, some common things between them. For example, a trope when somebody becomes a wolverine, like transformation, metamorphosis. Like somebody can become a wolverine in night or someone like metamorphosis we have in our life. And the same metamorphosis we can find in a metaphorical way when person kind of change his mood in the night. Or it is bipolar disease, yes? And we can find it. It is like bi bipolar, <laughs> bipolar wolverine. The same. And maybe I'm super, can find parallels in things. Maybe I'm super Leonardo da Vinci man, because Leonardo da Vinci, I, I by the way, googled these things and Leonardo da Vinci was recommending and I have also his books, but uh, it, it's okay and uh, it's fine. And uh, Leonardo da Vinci has rec had recommended to do kind of take different pl things in our life and try to connect them between. And maybe my skill of it is really good in nowadays. I can connect easily. Some people can't find a really easily super like connection between them, but I can. Maybe this experience. How I started to do this? It was in 2015. Like consciously I was I was doing it uh, as I remember in 2015, 2016 when I was in a Bauman Bauman improvisation school. If, when you improvise on a on a scene, on a stage, then you can uh, you start doing kind of funny things by replacing their meanings. For example, you see something like uh, like uh, a bowl, yes, when you eat, and you can say, oh, Jesus, wizard pot, yes? And it is kind of funny, it is a joking stuff, maybe because I have a lot of experience from, from different places in our life. But I'm not super expert in something particular. In something particular, particular, I'm a good at 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 languages. I want to say that at languages, at Russian language and creating stories, I'm good at this stuff. And also at anal analyzing data, I'm amazing. And other fields, I don't uh, know. And at communication with real people, like kind communication and really providing value to people, I'm nice at it. If I communicate with someone and teaching maybe sometimes, if I know the target audience. If I don't know target audience, I cannot teach uh, things really good. Because you should know what's the request of a person who asks you and uh, what's his surrounding, surroundings in his life to teach him better. 
because uh, like for example people is uh, super into sky f- sci-fis and you will talk about horrors and horrors of medieval times and uh, it will be kind of different types of radio waves you will talk in different uh, frequencies but uh, Ah, oh, geez, nice, ni- n- n- nice analogy, yes. And <laughs> for 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 this, you understand. But if you know he's interested in Naruto, okay, then Naruto is uh, something Japanese uh, cartoons and uh, Japanese anime. And uh, if you will explain things mathematics in a way of Naruto, oh look, they th- they have different types of clans, they have different types of characters, and let's let's count them, one, two, three, and it is uh, three, four, five, and uh, let's count it uh, like uh, three plus five, it will be eight, amazing, and uh, eight clans in this way, it, it means mathematics of uh, first grade, or maybe uh, the kindergarten, or even before before birth uh, math classes and uh, okay you understand about it and uh, what we are talking about originality let's dive again into originality it is not fully original but in my meaning of originality I want to be sincere with you I made it by my own I really made it by my own and uh, I I don't know because sometimes in society in our society we have uh, something and I understand that in the future maybe like super in the future maybe when I will be super successful and I will I will I understand it uh, yes we have kind of possibility that I will not but I currently believe 99 98 uh, 99.5 99.9 percent i will be successful in a commercial way in a meaning of glory and something famous it takes time right now i am in my way of fundamental things and uh, i'm growing good and uh, in in this meaning sometimes people in the future will say to me oh jesus it's not original maybe this talk that I do right now, it is uh, 12th of June, by the way, today is uh, a day of Russia in Russian Federation. Maybe this talk is kind of preparation for the future people, like, Jesus Christ, look at this video. Originality is everywhere, is and also it is nowhere. Like, if you will look at Mozart and at Beethoven, it is two different composers. And look at Mozart, look at Beethoven. Oh, Jesus Christ, they ha- they use the same thing, do, re, me, fa, so, let's see. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, uh, the same notes. Oh, guys, the same tam- tempo, the, sa- the same instruments. They used piano. Why they use piano together? They, they are stupid or something or what? Why they use piano? Let's create their own own they own un- universe of of music and they will create your own concept storms of music why they they use this and it is kind of not really nice and uh, <laughs> it is this kind of talk guys and uh, you understand right now that i speak it in a way of sarcasmic and uh, <laughs> really that uh, it it can go to these places like how oh, do you smothered and bitcoin that they are stealing from each other and uh, something like like this and uh, I think that uh, it is uh, I was doing it by my own fully and uh, you can look at them they are amazing when I do something not by my own I sometimes don't speak a lot about this but it is uh, different things I have sometimes I when I do this by fully by my own when I created it fully like I I made it I made it look at this and uh, when I feel this feeling that uh, Sometimes I have it because I was doing something new for me and I kind of proud of it because I invested time in it When I do th- something that I stealed or something not stealed, but I mean that borrowed uh, it will be good or maybe it will be adapted adapt Adaptation of some ideas or maybe I was learning from this stuff It, it will be kind of different style stuff of uh, narrow programmistic language uh, narrow programmistic language uh, narrow uh, narrow 
neuro-linguistic programming. It means that uh, when you can use uh, different types of words to s to make another person to believe to you, like, oh, I, I was not uh, stealing, I was not, like, grabbing ideas uh, from others, I was uh, learning from stuff of this nature, and then I created my own things, I was learning from it, and uh, I was uh, giving respect to them, and uh, kind of, yes, I was not stealing, I was giving respect respect to them, really respect uh, a lot to them and uh, things of this nature. But, okay, it is kind of uh, talk to entertain maybe you. But okay, I was doing it by my own and so what I wanted to say that uh, I don't know, really. I wanted to be original but I understand that uh, there is not super originality in our world. It's how we feel it. It's how we feel it. Many of it it is always be happy. I mean that not always, because sometimes you cannot be always happy, but feel kind of fulfillment and self-esteem and self... Self-love. Because sometimes you need to kind of love what you do and that's all. In the meaning of... Uh, even if you do it not by your own or you do this fully by your own, you should love what you do. That's all. It's maybe only the one thing that you should apply. And not thinking about he still it or maybe learned it or maybe he was doing it fully original or not fully original. I prefer originality. Like, because I feel kind of for my own, I sometimes feel, oh, jeez, I made it. I made it by my own. I... I I was going to this place, I was trying to do this, and I was trying to recollect all the memories. I, like, it is a good feeling and good proudness of yourself when you made something good that you like by your own and you was not using any other stuff in our universe in a meaning of not... Because you, you are not in a vacuum, I understand you, that... Uh, you you already seen this picture somewhere subconsciously in the world like you've seen a man and you picked this uh, faces and uh, you you've seen maybe something like in your childhood you 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 were 3 years old and uh, you see you've seen one tv tv commercial and then you picked this item and right now it is inside of your subconsciousness and maybe you are you are using this but this feeling like you made it without copying something without uh, fully like uh, referencing to something it is a really nice feeling with you when you may made it by your own but the same good feeling you can feel even when you copy or when you kind of see to the pictures uh, the the main goal of it be happy that's all even when person says to you like you you steal that you made it uh, are not original then uh, be happy and that's all it is maybe the only reason to be and to, to hug each other and to love each other the same it is it will be better it's my perspective on these things and i think that it's kind of right correct one i feel that it is good to, like to ha to hug each other to love each other and say good things positive things to each other like encourage uh, each other and yourself too because sometimes you need to like inner voice to say yes you can yes you you can go forward and uh, things of this nature and about things i was doing it original it's amazing i like it I really love and say it is the void of the void of something Goralip and it is the god of Fortar who takes the Goralip and uh, good good I really love look 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 at this amazing it it looks amazing really like like I do co comic book stuff really nice and uh, what should I do next for these uh, directions, I really like the way how I draw, but I prefer it on a paper. I prefer it on a paper. And uh, sometimes I have inside of me inner talk that I need to do this fully by my own, without any help of others. No, I, I need sometimes help maybe from others. Uh, because I th sometimes think that I fully can do this without any help of others. But I think that uh, I can... Like... Why don't I go right now 
fast enough in a commercial way because I do this fully by my own. Maybe it is a good thing. I like to create things. I like to be prolific. I like to be creative. Maybe some someday I will have a team, like team, and we will cooperate with each other. And uh, now I really want to improve my skills in a way of I understand that I can it. I can do this. Right now, in a music way, I understand that I can create any type of composition if I need it and play it. In a way of drawings, need to learn it. And I think that it will be a good stuff to share maybe tutorials for my audience and for my Russian audience to how to draw something. Like 100 different videos, how to draw this, that, this, that, and in different styles. It will be not like I'm a master, I'm an expert, look at me, look at me, I was making it and uh, I'm a master. Not, not this way, I mean that it will be in a way of to learn more. I mainly sometimes, as, yes, I want to say that I do this for my audience, this content is for audience and for legacy that I want to have uh, for for the people and people want to have, I think so. And uh, I do this for a legacy, my content, and also for myself sometimes, because I want, it is kind of for a world. World, it is me and, uh, I, no, it will be better. A world is people and me inside of this world, like people, surrounding, things, God, things, all, everything, everything in this world and me. And uh, I do this content for the world. And uh, I do content for the world. And uh, in the meaning of world, I mean that uh, sometimes I want to learn some skills. To, to bring more value to the world. In the meaning of macro perspective, it is really valuable. Because you understand, like, when you start teaching now, then it will be nice and even better teaching in the future. Because you're doing you're doing something, to, you do some tutorials right now, but in the future you will be really master at tutorials and you can show it better and you will be more kind of, you need to improve yourself to be more useful for surroundings too. Like you will be more valuable to them if you improve yourself. It is kind of... I don't know how to say it, it is kind of selfish and selfless in the same current position and self selfish altruism or altruism or selfish or I don't know, it is uh, two different types and even Spinoza was talk uh, talking about these things that we have kind of worlds of ourself and I also world of the world in the meaning of world and you are inside of this world too and if you improve yourself you improve the world too. But uh, it is the same, like, it is always kind of going from you and to to whole you, like to whole world. It is improving yourself in a system and also hel helping to the system. It is like when you are on a job and you are not like, oh, I will, I will not learn this stuff and uh, they, will, uh, they will do the, uh, by their own. When you improve yourself, you improve the system too. If you will put your things, if you will, imp will, if you will put your work into the system. You understand, I hope, this thing. Like, look. You, we have links together, yes? And if you are small, small, tiny link here, then you will not improve the system uh, so much. If you are a strong link and you you really active link and you grow this system too, then you will improve it. It means that you should improve yourself daily. And the world will be improving too. Because you improving yourself. And you improving the world. It is kind of... <laughs> huge talk. I don't know, guys, really, I don't know why people watch me not so big amount. Uh, I understand, by the way. My content is not super, like, fancy and super easy to understand, maybe. But I, I think that it's super understandable. Maybe it's dining Kruger, dining Kruger effect when you have, uh, you can Google dining Kruger effect. If you have uh, a lot of 
kind of ca- competency, then you think that everybody can understand it. But uh, uh, somebody maybe not familiar with these things, and uh, you kind of uh, wrong about these things, or maybe right. Uh, we don't have right and wrong in this world. We have only like what's right for us, <laughs> for us guys, and uh, for uh, for society to. We have meanings. And uh, so, guys, thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, talk. It was interesting. And uh, I understand that why my channel is not going well. Super, like in numbers. Because I don't do thumbnails like fancy. Good. Because when you open... Look, I can I can say to you. You open you open the YouTube. Then you, you look at pictures. And you pick something that is really nice to you. Who will click to the picture of a guy who sits on the computer near the uh, near these things? Look at pictures. They are they are amazing. They are doing amazing. They are kind of this type. But my pictures they are almost like this way. Like this uh, from Asman Gold. And uh, that's why I like him, because he's kind of uncut person, uncut videos. Uncut videos, they are not super popular in, in a society. If you are starting, if you are not like for, if you are not on your journey for five, six years, when I will be on my journey for five, six years, then it will be more popular. I understand it. Like in three, four years, I think that two, three years, it will be more popular. My content will be, I think so. And uh, I not like super person who, oh, Jesus, where's my numbers? But sometimes I think about it because I need to pay rent and I need to buy food. But I can find a job, uh, like real job, not uh, freelance things and uh, doing things like maybe, maybe lucky things like unstable, instability away. But uh, okay, it's my choice and uh, it's your choice where to find uh, your job and something like this. If you want to support me <laughs> i have a link for a paypal on my main channel like information if you want i i will appreciate it thank you a lot and if you don't need to, okay it's okay it's fine and uh, about the channel also thumbnails they are not super nice also uncut videos 51 minutes of talking for <laughs> for a long period of time and uh, maybe without super structurized and really super examples of society what society interested in without talking about politics things without talking about something that people know already like oh i will talk about game of thrones or oh, or maybe i will talk about something you i talk about something that everybody will understand and uh, uh, it is kind of uh, huge au- audience for a huge audience, but for a huge audience who have uh, influencers so, or, or something. Okay, I it is uh, my script is not uh, super nice for it. It will be good if I will have editing also in the video and uncut videos. They are not super popular sometimes, and uh, also why what titles titles and the uh, topic of my channel is super flowy it is channel about everything anything and nothing and in the same time about life i think that uh, my channel is about life love life doing and creating and going forward yes i think so improve so day daily guys go forward you deserve everything and you can go you can create you can draw you can compose things you can paint things you can do anything that you want you can write your own book you can do absolutely anything in your life because you are smart you are a genius you are really amazing person in this world and you deserve anything that you want go forward love hug peace thank you bye